Hello and welcome to another Steam Deck video. Got, a, got something really special here. The Force Unleashed Ultimate Sith Edition. Or more importantly, just you know, like the Force Unleashed. And without doing any extra things, Force Unleashed on the Steam Deck does not work. When you try and launch it, it just launches a black screen like it doesn't load. But there is actually a fix and the fix is not too difficult. So first of all, make sure you've got the game installed because the folders are required to be there. You need to download some extra files and folders, put them there, and it will fix it. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, one little caveat, I couldn't get the Xbox controller working with the Steam Deck on the Force Unleashed. So everything that you're going to see will, you know, use my hands on here for the just the general you know, fix part of it I need it, but even for the gameplay, unfortunately, as well. I try not to use the Steam Deck controls, even though I prefer them, just because, you know, I'm moving the, you know, the console. So, sorry for in advance. So, first of all, what you want to do is click, click the Steam button. You want to go down to Power. You want to go to Switch to Desktop. <coughs> Okay, so whilst you're on your desktop, so I've already, you know, I've already done it, but I will redo it. And what you want to do is go to this link right here. And it is a tinyurl.com forward slash S-W-F-U-F-I-X-D-E-C-K. So just open up, you know, Firefox down there. To get the keypad up, press Steam and the X button, the X Faith button. So let me show you if you press that, you get the keypad up. It automatically does it at the top. So I just move the browser down a bit and let me hide that. Let me, you know, if you click visit, it downloads a file. So just click you no know, OK to that. And it's a very small file, it does not take long. So if we go to the downloads, nope, the downloads, and just click the folder button. That will open it up. I've already got it extracted. To extract it, literally just, you know, keep it pressed. And this will uh, pop up like so. And now, for some reason, I can't seem to... Yeah, actually, it's working now. Before it wasn't when I was trying to press it with my finger. It works fine. And just click, you know, extract to. Uh, okay. I clicked the wrong one, but that doesn't really matter. Now what you want to do is open up this folder. It doesn't matter, they're both the same that I've got. And first of all, you want to copy over the ASPYR folder. And to do that, you literally just keep it pressed. Click copy. See, yeah, oh, no, no, no. I want to click copy, not copy location. Copy. Next, you want to click home button here. And yours probably won't look like this. So click the burger button, the three horizontal lines here. And click show hidden file. So make sure that's selected. Now what you want to do is go to dot steam. And then you want to go to steam. You want to find steam apps. And then compact data. Then you want to find free two four thirty. Then go to PFX. Then go to Drive C. Go to Users. Go to a Steam User. App Data Local. You want to paste it here. You won't already have it. I've got it because you know I'd already done all this. But you know you just keep your finger pressed anywhere the empty space. Click paste. Paste one folder. You will not get this come up because you don't already have it. So that's, you know, you know, not an issue. And uh, like obviously I don't need to. I'm just going to click X. But you won't have, you know, this won't pop up for you. Now what you want to do is go all the way back to the download folder. Open up the folder again. Get the SWTFU launcher. Just a little thing to note, this is the 60 frames per second launcher and it does allow you to play at a 60 frames per second. The problem with Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed 2 on PC is that they are ports of the PS3, the 360 version. They were locked to 30 frames 
and if you unlocked it what would happen is because the physics were tied in with the frame rate you would get essentially double speed physics you know things would break and certain missions just wouldn't be you know playable completable or just very hard to complete the SWTFU launcher does fix that and it works great at 60 frames per second but one thing to note if you replace the launcher and you don't you know use the original if you try and cap it at 30 things are half speed so if you are happy with 30 and you don't want to mess with this skip this step you can go ahead and play the game now if you do want 60 frames per second and you want this method you know this route feel free to you know copy this so just keep your finger on it go to uh, no uh, plus copy location copy and just go to home again now again make sure show hidden files are enabled you can disable it after you've done this step and you want to go to once you're on home technically it's home for slash deck just so you know but when you click home it takes you to the deck folder anyway and what i'll do i'll provide instructions plus the url in the description so you can actually just access it there go to steam you want to go to steam apps there it is go to common star wars force unleashed and that's it so you just gotta paste it here so if you just keep it pressed anywhere there's not a file paste one file this will actually appear for you because there will have been a, an original launcher and you just click overwrite and that's it you are ready to actually play the game now so if we click the let's go back so if we click x return to gaming mode So now that the game's fixed, once we get back to the regular Steam mode, I'll launch up Force Unleashed and show you it working. <coughs> okay, so go to Force Unleashed and let's click play. So before where, you know, it wouldn't load, it will actually load now as you'll see momentarily. There we go. Okay, so let's click continue game. And I just played the first level where you're playing as Darth Vader. Now you're, I've gone through the tutorial part and you're playing as Starkiller on this base. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna try my best to play whilst recording as well. But as you can see, it's running great. Fantastic, and it looks fantastic as well. The doors coming up soon that I can blast through. Here we go. I remember playing this on PSP as well. PSP, Wii. I never had a PS2 version. I had Wii, PSP, and PC. This is all the consoles that I had modded, so you can imagine how I got the game. So let me show you what happens if you do try and cap the frame rate, just so you know. As you can see, everything, it's not, you know, just less smooth, it's literally just slower. Which is not practical, it's half speed. So if you do want to do your 60 frames a second and you don't want to risk anything broken, then I would highly recommend that you, I mean, I'll, I'll make sure you don't, you know, change the launcher.
the reflection is so good. Obviously, there are the static items, but still. pick these up and hit the Star Destroyers. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. And there you go, so you can see the Force Unleashed working the original game on the Steam Deck showed you the little steps that you have to do. And I'll provide written instructions in the description so you can just follow along with them, along with the URL on how to get it working on your Steam Deck. Because by default it's considered unsupported and doesn't load. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. There's a link in the description to a compatibility list and feel free to check that out. It'll you know, tell you any, it, it'll be on there as well, the instructions will, so you can check that out as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.